Hi, Ashley. Hi, Charles. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Great, thank you. So um, I was reading a little bit about what you're doing, and when we talk about fixing the environment, it seems kind of overwhelming sometimes. So what are some fun, easy ways that kids can be involved? Well, parents are working with their children to make all kinds of small adjustments at home, from recycling to reducing water usage. What's exciting is that teachers increasingly feel it's their responsibility as well to show students how they can protect the environment as part of their school experience. And these projects range from student-run school gardens to uh, reducing energy usage to recycling to park and beach cleanups. That's awesome. And then now when the kids, let's say, you know, you're working with children who have special needs, for instance, I have a son who's on the autism spectrum and isn't in school yet. What are some fun ways that, you know, he can still be involved with helping the environment if your kids are not in school yet? Well, I think what's most exciting about environmental education, whether it's for students on the autism spectrum or for students who are really young and are not yet in school, is that environmental education is hands-on. It's this combination of chemistry and biology and economics and, and just the way the world works. And uh, students, young people, can touch and feel environmental education, which is so vital because students of all uh, uh, stripes no longer want to learn just from a chalkboard or a textbook. They want to see how the subject right. matter relates to the world around them. Yeah, so now how can local schools get help for funding classroom environmental projects? Well, at DonorsChoose.org, which is the nonprofit crowdfunding site that I started when I was a teacher, uh, any public school teacher can create a classroom project request seeking materials that they need for their classroom. If a teacher creates an environmental project, it will get a big boost from Toms of Maine thanks to their Green Your School Fund, which is a million dollar match offer for environmental classroom projects on DonorsChoose.org. And at GreenSchoolFund.com, you can see the most innovative of those projects and vote on the projects that you, that you think are our most breakthrough, uh, which will then get uh, a big award from Toms of Maine. That's really awesome. Now, we did take a look at Donors Choose, and the idea behind it is incredible, you know, helping teachers and schools to better themselves, you know, letting the community get involved. How many schools have seen the benefits of this so far? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Thank you, Ashley. Seventy percent of all the public schools in America have at least one teacher who has created a project request on our site. Last school year alone, a hundred, more than 100,000 teachers uh, got projects funded through our site. And there are 18 million students, most of them from low-income communities, who've got books, art supplies, uh, field trips, and now environmental resources that have enlivened and enriched their school lives. So they're getting that, you know, education that you talked about earlier, not just a chalkboard because the communities are coming in and helping. That's right. That's awesome. Now, what are some of the highlights from these projects that have been funded? Well, the environmental projects that are coming to life, thanks to Toms of Maine and the Green Year School Fund, are amazing. I saw one teacher whose school is near the coastline, and she and her students wanted to save the sand dunes that are not far from their school, and so they are growing native uh, plants and grasses that they can then transplant into the sand dunes so as to protect them. I saw another teacher who's created a uh, vertical hydroponic garden with a solar-powered water system and nutrients that come from the school's compost pile and, and from their food waste. And then I saw uh, a early elementary school teacher whose students are melting down uh, the bits and pieces of used crayons to make wacky shapes and are even taking the uh, used paper, paper that's been drawn on, grinding it down to a pulp and using that pulp to make new paper. So not just recycling, but uh, what they call upcycling. Now those are really cool. Did the students and teachers come up with those ideas or is there like a list of things that, you know, you guys kind of suggest? The, the brilliance of this is that those are entirely ideas that came from the classroom, from teachers and students' own uh, hearts and minds. And at greenschoolfund.com, uh, people can see the most innovative of those projects and, and maybe get a little inspiration uh, for their own homes or their own classrooms. But th these are entirely uh, from the front lines environmental projects. Those are awesome. And then where do people go to vote and get for more information? I know you said it already, but can you say it one more time for our readers? Absolutely. Greenschoolfund.com is the place to go to vote on the environmental projects that are not only being matched uh, by Toms of Maine, but are going to be awarded by Toms of Maine. 
Okay, and then one more question, if you don't mind. Um, the informational video that we saw on DonorsChoose.org had some celebrity involvement. What names have helped back this cause so far, the, the organization? We have been really lucky and, and fortunate with celebrity endorsements of DonorsChoose.org. Uh, Oprah Winfrey was probably the first uh, uh, bold-faced name to spot our potential all the way back when we were operating out of my classroom in the Bronx and nobody had heard of DonorsChoose.org and crowdfunding was years away from even being a word. Uh, and uh, over the, the years, uh, since 2007, Stephen Colbert has emerged as uh, our, our uh, most enthusiastic, most effective champion. He serves on our board of directors. Uh, and just a few months ago, you would have seen Serena Williams funding all the classroom projects in Compton, Ashton Kutcher funding all the classroom projects in Iowa, Samuel Jackson funding all the classroom projects in Chattanooga, Tennessee, uh, Anna Kendrick funding all the classroom projects in Maine, uh, and on down. We, we really have been lucky in terms of uh, the people who've decided to use DonorsChoose.org as their way to help classrooms in need. Yeah, that's incredible, and thank you so much for letting our readers find out about us. I know a lot of the people that we talk to and, you know, check out our site are kind of young adults anyway, so this is something right up their alley. So thanks for answering these questions, and we look forward to helping you guys out. Thanks, Ashley. Yeah, you have a good day. You too.